Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you? Hey! <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Jay Scott Top. Hello. And we are the Midnight Movie Watchers. As you guys heard, this is gonna be our review for Bad Boys 3. Or Bad Boys for Life, as yeah. it's properly called, but mm. Bad Boys 3. Yes. Uh but uh, you know, I don't know about you, Elmo, but I was really excited for this one. I really excited. I was really excited for this one. We haven't seen the last Bad Boys in what? It's been 15 years? Oh my goodness. Long time in the making. Yeah, super long. And, and even Martin. Martin Martin. We ain't seen Martin Martin on forever. On the screen in a while. Right. Supposedly he retired. I don't know. I didn't know that. He got that company. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, without further ado, let's dive straight into the review. Mm -hmm. And as always, I'm generous. My boy Evo, you go first. Yo, so Bad Boys 3. Well, I'm waiting Boys for 3. third installment. You know, most third installments. Yeah, so, yeah. Let, let right. people down with right. this one. It did its justice. There we go. So, yeah, you know, that was great. It had everything. There we go. Will and Lauren, Martin Lawrence chemistry is perfect. A one. Got I gotta it. agree with you. Yeah, the got chemistry it. is perfect. Comedy, seriousness. Yes, like, yes. The stuff that we love, and I think I want to say it's the third one is probably the best one. You know what? I'm with you, <laughs> Elbo. You uh, I'm with you, Elbo. Uh, guys, this was a really good movie. Uh, it yeah. really surprised me. The, the the depth that they had in this movie as far as like story goes yeah um uh you know I, I love that uh that they they actually you could tell uh you, it, this movie took a long time to make supposedly because will wanted it to be the perfect, perfect. movie he wanted it to be Have right, right. right. he wanted it to be yes. proper bad boys he didn't want to do a cash grab if you yeah, will that's what he said that's, yeah. what, he said. that's what he said <laughs> yeah and uh and it it you can, it shows it Which shows, it shows. Um, one thing I thought was kind of, I thought it was kind of crazy. I'm not saying I'm complaining about it, but like it, it, in my opinion, it did have that, that, that storyline to continue the trilogy itis of yeah, like yeah. creating like elements that was I, I non-existent in the first two films, yeah. but they had to continue the story somehow. So it was just created for that purpose. Uh, but like I said, it's not a complaint. But I was just like, I thought that was pretty funny. We want a bad boys four after three. We did. I, I we want did. another, and I think they should keep since they the momentum still. There, I think they should drop it next year. Man, it, yeah, next you year. you can't tell that their chemistry. Like you can't tell that their last film was like fifteen some years. Yeah, ago. you thought they did a film last year. Last year, like that, like the Rock and Kevin Hart always doing all the together. time. Like, yeah, yeah, and, and so. you know, touching back on what you said about the comedy. The comedy was really good, guys. Like I had moments where I was laughing really hard. I loved it. Martin Lawrence, I Martin killed Lawrence it every time. He was a condo for the bruja. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> Martin, he he, and his jokes yeah. did not let up. Uh, and and that's what I, I thought the film did a really good job because mm -hmm. you know normally, uh, you know some directors they put comedy in at the wrong parts to where yeah. it kind of takes away from, from the seriousness mm -hmm. of the yeah, film. Yeah. Well, I felt like Martin's comedy relief uh, in, in certain parts of the film that was serious, it worked. And it, it, it didn't take away from the seriousness of the film. And uh, I, I really liked how he did that. I really, that. Liked, I really it. liked And then I also that. liked how they just, just go around Bad Boys 3. That's why I was hoping like they didn't change none of the characters. Right, right. They kept the same white. Same, yep, same on, characters. And they brought Reggie back. My boy Reggie. <laughs> Reg, Reggie is back. So, Reggie is back, like guys. Kept the, the characters in that, and DJ Kelly did a funny job. He did a fantastic part. job. So, uh, DJ Kelly, if you didn't know, he did make an appearance and to say his, mm -hmm. this was his, I think this was his acting debut. Yes, this was yes, like on the big screen. Yeah. He did really good, guys. Yeah. Uh, it was a really well put together movie. Uh, the stakes was at an all-time high, which kind of added to it. Uh, and one of the things that I really liked is that the film matured with them. Yes. You know, like, you know, Bad Boys 1, you know, they're kind of young cops. Um, and and it showed in their attitude. Two, two there's a little bit more. Yeah, like Martin was more trying to be more family-oriented. 
you know, uh, uh, Will was just more of the the, the cool cop, cool cop. Yeah. open shirts, athletic scenes. <laughs> On his jacket on. Yeah, you know, Will was the sexy cop. Yeah, but but this Bad Boys Three gave that story about Mike Lyra. Mike Lyra, and, yeah, and, immature. And that, and that was that was great because everybody wanted to know like why he never settled down, why he don't right. got no kids, like mm -hmm. where he learned mm -hmm. his style from. And exactly. In this movie, he explained you get that. Yeah. So, so yeah, he Elvo is absolutely right. You do get the backstory of uh, Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Martin's storyline is good and, and it continues as well. So you you know it did a really good job at developing both characters yeah. and showing that their story does continue. Um, action it, was done. Action, action. Now that's one action thing I wanted to touch done. on. Elbow. The action really surprised me. I, I really liked the, it uh, the villain. Uh, the villain was cool. The villain was cool. We're not gonna spoil it for you guys. Yeah, but I'm talking about that boy was fast. He was <laughs> fast, cold. He was cold. And man. you'll he, see why. He'll it, see. It's, it's oh, all right. gonna make sense. I don't think nobody's gonna stop that. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was nasty. So, uh, so yeah, guys, like uh, the action really surprised me. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, it had Fast and Fur and Furious esque yeah. type action. You know, the action scenes yeah, was really yeah, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it wasn't. But it, it was, that's what it was like. You wouldn't tell like Michael Bay can do this one. Exactly. You wouldn't exactly. get that feeling like, right, and Michael Bay didn't do it because, like, he did the other one. Mm -hmm. Explosions, everything, action, yeah, car yeah. chase, like, that's it. That's it. So, hey. And yeah, so yeah, guys, so the action was really good. Uh, the, the story matured. Mm -hmm. uh, the villain actually was good and he it actually had good. purpose. He yeah, had purpose. He wasn't just thrown in there to be just a villain of the movie. Yeah. He actually had a real interesting backstory that that's also yeah. going to be used to continue the story farther down the line. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so was there anything you didn't like about the film? It, I think there was nothing I didn't like about the film. I, I everything, agree with you. Everything was flawless to me. Yeah, guys. Like, um, everything. I, I'm with Elbo. I gotta agree. I honestly have to say that I do think that this was the best installment of, yes, of, this the, one. of the trilogy. You know, the other two is great too, but this one right here is for the third one, mm -hmm, the best mm -hmm. one. Yeah, and I love that it, it leaves the door open for future installments mm -hmm. of the film. Uh, so, you know, Bad Boys 4 isn't in question. Rumors saying that it's already in production. They should already know. do it. They, they should do it. Yeah, I mean, Especially I would love how to they see it. it. Yeah, Come yeah. On, man. I would love to bad see it. Or are they gonna have like a been off of uh, yeah. the ammo crew. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. I, ho I hope they don't take over. I mean, we got to yeah. keep Marty Marr and you know, Will. Yeah, they were uh, trying to mess it up the song. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like how they did Men in Black. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> when, yeah. when this song? Yeah, I want, I want Jay and Katie. That's how we. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so uh, no, I would elbow. No, no like, issues with Bad Boys 3. No issues. You should go see it. I'm telling you. Go see it, guys. Uh, what would you rate the film? 10. Ten, the easy Perfect. question. Uh, <laughs> like, what you go with the action, comedy, dialogue, yeah, yeah. scenery. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some reviews. I did watch some bad boy reviews. Uh, what they say? You know, and, and a lot of people are criticizing the pacing. Did you see any problem with the pace? At the beginning, it was a little slow, but it, it worked. It's Think fifteen so? years. We gotta give it a little give something. Little time. I, I mean, honestly, yeah. I did, I really didn't see any problem with. It. I thought that yeah, it was just the probably at the, was, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, like, probably so. Uh, but I, really, not even at the beginning because it was off top. The, that's what I'm the saying. Dude, the villain was. That's what I'm saying. saying. I thought so the really pacing no was pacing. good. I, guys, I feel like not to not to kind of like shit on other movie reviewers, but I kind of feel like pacing is kind of like one of those things. It's one of those like go to negatives. Like when you can't yeah. find a negative and you know you, the film can't be perfect, oh pacing. And you know like, you know guys, the pacing was A1, yeah. uh, the acting was, was good. good, the comedy was good. good, the villain had a purpose. Yeah. Um, Martin, Long, Martin, sure Martin Lawrence pacing. and Will Smith's chemistry was that's A1. Right. The, I think that's the best duo in movie. Definitely. You can, and, put, you can put anybody together because nobody ain't talking about them. Yeah, and, and you, you couldn't tell that they haven't shot a movie in ages together. together. That chemistry was perfect. perfect. It was just like the last Bad Boys was just made two perfect. years ago. And I like how they was like putting like little flashbacks in the old one. Mm -hmm. Like in glasses. Yeah, uh, yeah. When he stood up, they just less pan. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I like how they did all that. Like they gave you little old references from one and two. Right, you right. You see them like old stuff. 
Yeah, even Reggie himself. Yeah, Reggie, when Reggie yeah. showed up, the crowd started going crazy. crazy yeah. yeah, so guys, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, that's our opinion for Bad Boys uh, Three or Bad Boys for Life. We really loved it. Uh, Elvo give it a ten out of ten. I'm going to agree with him. I'm giving the film a ten out of ten. Uh, you know, I told you guys all the positives. Uh, there isn't many negatives. There's any. no negative. To yeah. Me. So like, uh, like you have to be really like looking. Oh, continuity issues. But. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I thought it was perfect. Uh, it was a great film, guys. If you go see Bad Boys for Life, you will not regret it. Will not, worth uh, the money. Anything else you want to throw out there? Uh, All right, well, without further ado, guys, I'm Jay Scott Top. Hello. We are the Midnight Movie Watchers, and we see you guys next time. Peace.